Right, Royal, uh, you know, I do want to mention really quickly in light of what Nancy had just reported, we are at uh, Bethel Assembly of God Church right now. This is on Norris. We also saw two law enforcement vehicles just whiz on by with sirens blazing. So we'll stand by to hear more about what is going on there. Meantime, in about an hour and a half from now, there will be a service here at the church where Wanda Walters attended and it will be held in her memory. Glenda Horner has been close friends with Wanda Walters for more than four decades. She was very dear to me. She describes her as a quiet person and a great listener. I call her really deep. You know, she's she has a uh, a wisdom that was just very um, significant. You know, just a a real tender, kind, kind and merciful toward people, and always looking to help them. Wanda's children live out of state, so Horner and her congregation have been Wanda's family in Clovis. She recalled the day she found out her friend was killed in the shooting. You know, it was just so awful. The whole thing was awful. You know, when you when someone dies, it's okay if if you know if it's a natural death, but a violent death like that is so, so shocking and, and sudden, I guess you could say. And at this library entrance where Wanda Walters has crossed so many times, a memorial now grows in her memory. This is also where the nephew of librarian Chrissy Carter prays. Chrissy was a one of kind person. She was, had the biggest heart anybody could ever imagine. William Turpin, like so many others, wondering why and how this could happen. I'm still trying to piece things together, honestly, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to accept this. <laughs> I'll be real with you because I, I still haven't accepted it. But he knows Clovis, together, we'll get through it. Something like this happens, we're together. We're family. We're best friends. And Pastor says that when she tries to wonder and piece together why Wanda Walters had to fall victim to this, she says that there's no doubt that Wanda was prepared to meet her maker. Reporting live in Clovis, I'm Christine Pay, Action 7 News.